All right, folks, between me and this idiot, and we are back. Where we almost got stampeded, or did we get stampeded? Um, if the spy is Sanjay, oh, I'll be heartbroken. A scream to Kenny to find Lavinia Debris and warn her about Sombra's interest in her diamond company. But here, in addition to Lavinia, we found her tour guide dead. Upon closer investigation, we learned that the victim was an elephant poacher. He killed elephants and sold their tusks on the black market. Wait, what? what's that noise, Ace? Oh my gosh, wild beasts are coming right at us. We won't get away in time. Ace, help! There's too many of them. It's true, Ace, what are you doing? You need to get out of the wild beast way. This is dangerous. You noticed that. I can't make my way through. Follow me, Senior Trooper Ace. Oh, brother. Thank you, Mufasa. Ew, Ace, what was that? It was a wild beast migration, a marvelous event that tourists come from across the world to see, but they don't usually jump right into the wild beast paths. They didn't jump. They jumped first. They... Oh, never mind. Thank you for your help, Miss Adhiambo. What's my job, Senior Trooper Ace? Now that you're safe, I have to go. Yeah, he said I'd like to go too back to headquarters. Am I gonna take a long shower in? Wait, what? Oh heck, you're right. If the wildebeest are migrating all of this man, they'll soon reach our crime scene and trample all the remaining evidence. We need to hurry back there at once. It's a lot of tusks. Poor elephants. I like elephants. There's blood on that rock you found. You think it might be the victims or the killers? We'll better take a sample. There's no address to the victim, but the text is covered in some kind of dry leaves. Let's back them up. And why is it torn photo with the crime scene? Let's go back together. Quick, Ace. If this murder it does have something to do with the Sombra and Lavinia, we can't afford to delay. We cannot. Let's put all this stuff together. Oh, so we have an affair, an affair here. What the? Ace, this photo shows our victim being really cozy with Nyota Adhiambo. Nyota said she only met the vi victim in passing, but this photo proves otherwise. We need to demand answers from Nyota stat. Oh, the tables have turned. Ace, now that you got the dried leaves off this note, we can see what it says. The note says karaoke. Karaoke, don't push me. Your operation will fall apart without me. Lots well, ominous to say. Good point. Whoever sent this note must be somehow involved in the victim's ivory trade since the operation he was running. You're right, Ace. Maybe they dry leaves from this note will help us identify the sender. Let's check them under the microscope quickly. So it's either going to be the bureaucrat or his partner would be my immediate guess. Okay, so let's send the blood you got from that rock to Lars quick. So we can go use the microscope for some, but for some, nope, let Lars do it. Hey, Miss Adiambo, when you talked to us, you failed to mention how close you were with the victim. Um, I hope you wouldn't find now, Senior Trooper Ace. Karaoke and I had a fling, and before you judge me, back then I didn't know he was married. He seemed like a nice guy, and we shared interests, studying animals and plants, navigating the wildernesses, and we went on a few dates. 
But I ditched him pretty fast. It was bad enough that he snored in bed, but then I learned that the Niyama Choma we had together was made by his wife. I felt like a fool. Yeah, I know what it's like to be disappointed in love. My girlfriend dumped me and... Yeah, sorry, Trey. Sorry, Ace. You're right. This isn't the time. Miss Adiambo, did you know Karyuki was an elephant poacher? We found his camp nearby. He was a what? What do you mean you found his camp? Why did you, didn't you tell me immediately? A wildlife protection ranger. I should have been alerted about the camp and Karyuki's crimes. And I'm definitely not sorry he's dead, but a scoundrel. Well, whoever killed him isn't a saint either. Better hope it's not you or St. Trooper Ace will ensure that you end up behind bars. Molecules. And not nine, but not too bad. We tried leaving the threatening note addressed to the victim turned out to be tobacco from a Cuban cigar. Cuban cigars aren't a popular commodity around here, but you're right. It's unlikely that anyone except Melvin, Chariot, Chariot smokes them. Melvin claimed he didn't know about the victim illegally selling ivory, but this note clearly indicates his involvement in this operation, unless the man answers from Melvin immediately. Yep, he seems like a guy that could be threatening. Change your race, we meet again. How charming. Miss Chariot, the game's up. We found your note threatening the victim. Oh, well, this is just a simple misunderstanding. You see, I could take Hiroyuki's safari guide permit away, and I told him I would if he didn't stop misinforming tourists about the local flora. Oh, really? Your note was about the flora? We, we were thinking of fauna, Mr. Chariot. Just admit it, you were in on Hiroyuki's ivory business. I was not. Karaoke gave me gifts sometimes, that's all, but maybe he was grateful for his safari guide permit. Or maybe he was bribing you to turn a blind eye to his poaching. We don't have enough hard evidence to arrest you for this, but senior Trooper Ace will get, sure get you a murder if you're the one who killed Karaoke. For sure. Alright guys, I'll be back here in 9 hours, gotta grab some stars, I'm a machine is idiot. Au revoir. Alright folks, machine is idiot, we are back. Playing Criminal Case on Facebook. Hey, it's Knock Knock. Bro, uh, we're kind of busy right now. But all right, who's there? A face. A face who? A fascinating sample of blood it was you sent me, Ace. Anyway, the blood you found on the rock at the crime scene doesn't belong to the victim, but it matches a dude called Muthui Nidoritu. Muthui? How did his blood end up there? We better go to the holding cell and ask him at once, Ace. That sounds incriminating. Mr. D Nidoritu, Senior Trooper Ace found a rock with your blood on it, and... You don't want to know why my blood's on that rock? Ask Karyuki. He threw it at me. I only asked for an equal share of the ivory profit, but he got angry. He said he deserved more because he found us buyers and dealt with... Well, I don't know who. People to ease our way. But I hunted. We were equally good at navigating in the wild, and took the same risks. Karyuki got richer, but I stayed poor. For me, Nyama Choma is a rare treat, but that swine could eat it whenever he wanted. But ha, he's dead, so who see who's the smartest now? Well, not if you kill them, because Senior Trooper Ace will make sure you don't get away with it. Ace, this case is all bones and tusks, and some are probably lurking, lurking in the shadows. No needs, or we need new leads ASAP. So much seems to revolve around that elephant poaching, you're right. We should take another look at that camp. I would have to agree. I would have to agree. Yep, glad that you could be on. Yep. He likes baseball. Nickname would probably be Slugger. Ouch. Whoa. Cigarette butts, danger sign, matches, 
Soda can. Lockbox. Oh, there's a soda can. Hey, so this cabin is locked, but everything else is lying in the open. Let's crack that lock. If even the killer might have dropped this pouch here, we need to look through it. Well, it definitely looks like it has some trinkets in it, that's for sure. Interesting. Hey, so there's blood on that weird thing you found in the pouch. No idea what it is, but we've clearly got to send it to Lars with the double. Fifteen hours. Wow. Yep. Yep. Nope. Yep. Looks like something was mixed in this bowl recently. Some plant matter or something. But why was it locked up in the cabinet? You're right. It's the only reason to lock up something so innocuous would be the stuff inside the bowl was toxic. What's in the bowl to Lars, Ace? Eh? There's no time to lose. Oh, you know what? That's probably it. Probably the toxic, because they said the dart was uh, poison. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys in 15 hours. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of stars. This bitchiness idiot. Au revoir. All right, folks, bitchiness idiot, we are back. My criminal case on Facebook. Let it, let's solve this. Ace, how do you like these lyrics? Go back to somber, you filthy mole. You infiltrated the bureau. You have no soul. It's going to be a powerful song, dude. Before you write the rest, tell us what about that thing Ace found in the pouch at the, at the hunter's camp. Well, the little thing you sent me was the crown of a wristwatch, and the blood on it matches your victim, but the victim wasn't wearing a watch. Well, someone clearly was. Well, I know which someone you mean, and a watch won't help this killer watch their step and avoid prison. We're closing in on the maze. Yes, yes we are. That's true. Elliot or Sanje. That would not be good. Ace, hey, your instincts were spot on. The bowl you found in the cabinet at the poacher's camp contained poison. Inside the bowl are traces of Aco... Acocanthera shimperi, which is highly toxic and... Yeah, Ace is right. We've heard of this aloha shrimp before. Angela told us that it's the poison used on the arrow that killed the victim. Well, this means that the killer used the bowl to mix the poison. They'll probably... They probably left it at the camp, hoping it would blend in with all the other illegal stuff. Well, then I can tell you something else about the killer ace. There were traces of an herbal ointment on the bowl, one that is used to treat scars. Well, then if the killer has a scar with a mark that's that distinctive, they're not getting away from us. I only remember the chick having it. Ace, we can finally slap handcuffs onto Kari Kariuki's Mayanese killer and learn if this murder is connected to Sombra. Let's go. Who else has a scar? Oh, the poacher, his friend. This guy, but does he have a watch? I bet you he's not rich enough to have a watch. Yeah, he has a watch, but he's not it. So you know who it is, it's his ex-lover. Surprise, surprise. How many times is it always the ex-lover? Nyota Adiambo, you're under arrest for the murder of Kariuki Maina. I've got better things to do than to listen to this. If you don't want to see your brace to track you down, you shouldn't have left Niyama Joma stains on the bow with which you shot your victim. Who says it was me who left him there? Yeah, well, the evidence does. You've got an excellent knowledge of plants, something that helped you cook up the poison you used on the arrow. I don't know what poison you mean. Why do you say that, given that we found the traces, we found the bowl you mixed the poison in? Just so you know, you left traces of your scar ointment on it. Oh, you've really found everything, haven't you, Senior Trooper Ace? You beat me fair and square. Yes, I killed Karaoke, and I don't regret it either. You know that Karaoke and I dated Senior Trooper Ace, but the truth is, I really loved him. 
that the idiot that I was, and he used me for my knowledge about elephants. I told him everything I knew, elephants, their migration habits, their weaknesses, everything. And then I learned that he used it to kill them for their ivory. My life is devoted to protecting animals, and Karayuki made me an unwitting accessory to his crimes against them. After I realized that, learning that I was also the other woman in his marriage didn't even matter. I took justice in my own hands. Elephants around here are killed with poison arrows, so I used the same method to execute Karayuki. It served him right. Yeah, but that's where you went wrong. It's true that Karayuki was guilty of serious crimes, but it wasn't for you to decide to meet his means of punishment. Because you crossed that line, you're now under arrest for murder. Nyota Ariambo, you stand accused of the murder of Karaoke Mina. How do you plead? Guilty, Your Honor, but that man was killing elephants for money. Do you know that how elephants suffer from illegal hunting? In some areas, 80% of the herds have been wiped out. Yeah, but it's not for you to decide who gets to live or die, Miss Ariambo. And as such, this court sentences you to 10 years in prison. No, you can't keep me away from the savannah for so long. Who will protect the animals while I'm not there? Okay, uh, 10 years is nothing for killing someone. Let me just throw that out there. Hey, so much people with good intentions didn't turn to murder. Nyota wanted to save ele elephants, but she went about it the wrong way. Well, at least we determined one thing. The murder of La Lavinia Safari Guide wasn't related to her or to Sombra. But that raises more questions. If this wasn't Sombra's work, then where are they? They plan to approach the Lavinia. She's here, but they haven't acted. Could it be that we landed Sombra a bigger blow on that island than we thought? Maybe they had to drop approaching Lavinia. Or are Sombra changing their plans now that they've got we've got their inside woman? Well, speaking of inside people, at least the alleged traitor among us hasn't aced them quick. Someone, sab someone sabotaged our satellite, Bob. Anyways, guys, we're going to find out more in the second part of the Pinching 88 over and out.